The reason why not having a joint account has worked is because we don't have secrets. Talking about how wise in men, okay, women go to church and men and all that. You just check when Christianity came to Africa and check when Christianity came to Nigeria, right? What value do you give to family prayer? If you value family prayer, then you will pray. Hello and welcome to Safe House with Hetty. Safe House with Hetty is a TV talk show that focuses majorly on marriage and relationship issues. So, if you have questions about marriage and relationship, you are definitely in the right place. Today, we are talking about childlessness and sex preselection. Childlessness in marriage is a state of not having children. This usually is personal, family, or communal significance. Clinicians and epidemiologists use the term childlessness to mean having difficulties to conceive by a woman or to impregnate a woman after living together for one year. Among most African marriages, this is a very big issue. Also, on the other hand, child preselection is the ability of being able to determine the desired sex of a child at fertilization. In some cultures, it is difficult for a woman to claim ownership of her husband's home without a male child. Thank you very much. So, here to discuss this issue with me are two wonderful personalities. We have here a doctor and a public health physician. He is the secretary to the Catholic Bishops Conference of Nigeria. He is also the president of the Association of Catholic Medical Practitioners of Nigeria. Most of all, he is a fertility specialist in the act we call natural family planning. Dr. Emmanuel Kechiku, you're welcome. Hello, yes. Also, we have a mother, a biologist by training. She is her husband's personal assistant in their business. She got to know Dr. Kechuku through fertility technology while she was in need of a male child. Here with us is Mrs. Pascaline Ndufo. You're welcome. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. Thank you so much. We'll be going for a short break, and when we come back, we'll talk about what we have today. If you value family prayer, mm -hmm. then you will pray. Welcome back. Today, we're talking about childlessness and sex preselection. Dr. Kichuku, could you please tell us what are the causes of childlessness or infertility in marriage? Thank you very much. Infertility or childlessness in marriage is when married couples living together for one year and having regular sexual intercourse, but they are unable to achieve pregnancy. Before it used to be up to one and a half years, but the standard now is 12, one and a half, 12 months, one year, and they are unable to achieve pregnancy. And there are many causes, but for purposes of to simplify it for everyone, we can say causes in male, causes in female, and we can bring it together. However, because we're in a closed society where, as we have said, childlessness is always tended to be blamed on the woman as a having of infertility. But the research and science has shown that in any case of infertility, the men and the man and husband and wife, they share it equally. Thirty percent factors are due to women, 30% of the factors men, 30% of, of cases, two of them are joined, and 10% of the cases, you, you don't find the, the, the reason. Wow, that is a very good information. So you are telling us that sometimes men are more to be blamed. Yes. So women and men have the same percentage when it comes to infertility in marriage. Essentially, yes. But wow. even more interesting, okay. as a such is showing us, that among those who are coming to uh, infertility clinic, at least what that was uh, Dr. Sai's group in Indonesia, assuring us that 
So men, I, men as of now, some men are more infected than women. Wow. So that cultural uh, uh, prejudice or prototype that is women that are usually uh, responsible is changing and it's changing very fast. And I think this is important for purposes of curing the situation, managing the situation. When there's a case of infertility, the couple should jointly go and seek out what is the cost, who, where is the problem, where is the missing link. And once you get the missing link, you can fill the gaps and the children will come. So it's a couple-focused solution-seeking agenda we are looking for here. Beautiful. That's a very good one. So I want to ask you, Dr. Kichiko, yeah. is there a cure for infertility? Yeah. Or do we have options? Before I go back to the next question, let's go back to the causes. The causes okay. come from various factors. Infection in male and female can be, cause, can be a factor. On the other hand, the structural distortions. Structure means part of the internal reproductive system in either the man or the woman can also be the issue. Where the passages are blocked by infection, or damaged by injury, or even by abnormal development. You know, people have congenital um, deformations in the process of developing the sexual organs. This can all be causes. But you, need, you cannot tell what and where until you, you go and seek out the um, causes, do the investigation, do the tests. Finally, the aspect of hormonal imbalance. Hormones are chemical messengers that the body uses to regulate its functions. It's they, are, they are there in men, they are there in women. If they are not functioning well, either in terms of quantity they are not enough, or in quality the, the functional uh, efficacy is not there, infertility might result. So I hope I have identified it. It can be structural, when the, the pathways are blocked or damaged. It can be infectious, when germs cause one harm or the other. Or it can be functional, hormonal, when the chemical messengers are not either enough or not at all. Or sometimes some of them are even too much. If you have too much of one, it can cause derangement of the functions of the other. So these are the possible causes of infertility. But they are, you can then narrow them differently to find what is the cause. So when you, the question of what are the options, the op options are many all geared towards finding what is the missing link. Because when God created, sorry, when God formed marriage, when he instituted the institution of marriage, he says, go and be fruitful and multiply and subdue So he gave us an intrinsic faculty to go and be fruitful. And therefore, the job of medicine, healthcare, is to find out what is causing a married man and his wife, a married woman and her husband not having children. That can be gotten by going to appropriate Test wow, thank you so much. What huge information for us today. So we have structural infection and functional issues. Why people can be infertile. Okay, hormonal, okay. Now in these three causative agents, which is the most pronounced in the issue of infertility? Infection. Wow. And followed by hormone. Of course, infection will cause anatomic damages. So from infection to mechanical changes, structural changes, hormonal comes thought essential, but these are general discussions really. Wow. Thank you very much. So madam, I want to hear from you. What is your story? Thank you. My story just like I call it a testimony of how God used Dr. Kechuku and his team in this natural family planning to answer my prayers. I've been praying to God for a male child, a half tree of female children. So I'm in very, I'm very, very in need of having a male child in my family. It's me and my husband so much supportive to make sure that we achieve this. So through the help of Dr. Kechupu, we are able to get what we want. So I thank God for that. Thank you. Thank you so much, madam. And we give God all the glory. 
We'll be right back after this short break. The family is the heartbeat of the world. It is made up of the husband, wife, and children. The society in turn is made up of families. Countries are made up of societies, while the world is made up of countries. Little wonder someone has said, if you destroy the family, you destroy the society. The Bible says if a man finds a wife, he finds a good thing, and the Lord grants him favor. Dr. Kechuku. Please, what is this sex preselection, and how does it work? Okay, again, I go back a little bit um, to the question of what are the options. One of the options is to provide to try what is the basis of this infertility. One of them is what is the natural basis of the infertility. And we can only do that if we do natural family plan. That's what we started with natural family planning, finding out what are the natural reproductive tendencies within the man and within the wife, and find out why are they missing. So for us, natural family planning is um, a program that helps empowers the couple to know their fertility, to understand their fertility, to appreciate their fertility, and then manage their fertility based on knowledge and understanding of those natural biological markers that point to their fertility profiles. That's all, that was all about natural family planning. For couples to know, to understand, to appreciate, and to manage their fertility. That way they are empowered to be active managers of their reproductive health. So, natural family planning, I've explained it, I've defined it. The aspect that I'm involved now is called NOVAP Fertility Technology. NOVAP means Natural Population Applications Technology. And that is the hallmark of any natural family planning method. To empower the couples to know when the woman, when the wife reflects. And when they're able to identify their moment of reflection, they can manage their fertility with that knowledge. Either to achieve pregnancy, they have sex during the time of reflection. If they don't want pregnancy, during the time of reflection, they abstain. That way they do not change the anatomy, change the physiology, change the functional integrity of the woman's body by being natural in their, in their reproductive life. That's natural family plan. Thank you very much, Dr. Kichuko. Now, I want specifics. Sex preselection. Madam needed a male child, and she said through your natural family technique, you gave her a male child, or God gave her a male child through you. Okay, so that's better. Now, I want to know, how did it happen? What did you do? Madam, what exactly did you do? What I actually did is that I followed the instructions that was given to me by Dr. Kechuku by doing my daily chatting of the mucus and every day, it's not just once a day, but every time I visited the restroom before and after using the toilet, I mean, defecation, after and after, uh, before and after urination, before and after birth. And this is how I've been checking constantly. Anytime I visited the restroom, I will clean by the instruction given to me. I should wipe my vagina open from front back. This is how I just doing it uh, that time to check for the mucus to know which one is present. And then I test with my finger, you know, after that I then go to my chat book and record it wow. according to how I was instructed and I was taught. Wonderful. So by doing that, like about four months, I was able to master everything. Four good months? Yes. Okay. I was able to master it and even able to pinpoint my day of ovulation wow which from the teacher i was told that is when i have 
when I notice that I have ovulated, is that period I need to meet and I will get my desired cells. Wow. Which, which is a male child I was looking for that. So that's what I did actually and God answered my prayer. Wonderful. And I thank God for that. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Madam, do you have that male child now? Yes. How old is the child? He's a year and two months. A year and two months. Yes. Congratulations, Thank madam. Thank you. I want to find out how expensive is this procedure? I mean, financially expensive. How is it? I don't think it's expensive. Okay. I don't think. I don't think at all it's expensive. Okay. It wasn't because there's a... nothing. I didn't buy any chemical. I didn't buy any extra material outside to be checking. Just tissue paper I was using to wow. carry out the routine checking wow. and the chart to record my findings. Okay, finally, Dr. Kechuku, what would you want to say? Do you have any other thing you want to share with our viewers? Because this is supposed to be an educative and informative session. Please talk to us. Thank you, Margarita. I to thank Mrs. Uh, Pascal and for, for the courage to come forward and share her testimony. And for us, it's, the, um, it's one of, of the pools of evidence we have for the work we are doing. Before now, when natural family planning is discussed, it's mentioned. It's mentioned to be discredited, not to be discussed. But we're in a position now to provide a scientific basis of those things that uh, Reverend Sister Maxwini of blessed memory did here in Nigeria for 53 years. Now she's dead, but we're in a position to provide the scientific basis of our work. And we have moved it away from, from billions to natural, natural te technology, now to Nova technology. So we're advancing and refining the exactitude, the precision of the natural family planning uh, technology. And therefore, as he has said, the cost implications are very minimal because we empower the couple to master their, to know their fertility, to understand their fertility, master it and use it. So in terms of uprising, this is where the world should go. For the purposes of the health of the women, the health of the family, the health of the husband, natural family planning is the way, the future. Because for us, even the Nova technology, fertility technology community, the chatting the woman presents for us can prefigure, can predict her future gynecological health. Because every day, she's giving us what is happening in her body. And we can profile it in the future and say, this woman, if she becomes pregnant and we do not inter intervene, she might miscarry because of the pattern of the chart. So those are the um, corollary attributes of the benefits of natural family planning, Nova technology, that we are ready to support our families to assuage the intensity of infertility, childlessness, and the social pressures and uh, the ceremony that can come from fam to families when male child or children actually the issue. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Dr. Kichuku, can you also do this for female children? If somebody is looking for a female child, for instance, yes. Yeah. The environment is the same. Okay. The knowledge you use in achieving uh, pregnancy, the same knowledge you are going to apply to avoid pregnancy. The same knowledge you use in achieving male child, the same knowledge you are going to apply avoid to achieve female child, just to do timing is the issue. Okay. And so knowledge is the power. And I think this is where we are. Wow. Thank you so much. Madam, your last words, please. Do you have any last words for our viewers? What do you want them to take home? actually I want them to take home with this in such isolation which is my own case of knowing or applying this natural family planning is very easy. You just understand how to chat and be able to follow the instructions and definitely you will get what you want. So, commitment is important and seriousness is important. I think that's what gave me the success. Wow. Thank you so much, madam. We've had Mrs. Pascaline Ndufo and Dr. Imale Kechuku on set today. And we've been talking about infertility and child sex preselection. They've told us so many things. Madam talked about commitment and seriousness 
and the part of chatting while doctor talked about natural family planning being key to knowing our fertilities. So we also learned that infertility may be the fault of the man or the woman and both of them have equal chances in this issue. So let's not blame infertility on the women only. Thank you so much our viewers. We'll be with you same time next week. Don't go away. God bless.